Last summer, Islamic State jihadists began an offensive across northern Iraq. One year ago today, they first seized Mosul, the country's second largest city after Baghdad, causing more than 500,000 people to flee their homes within one week. People who are not Sunni Muslims were given an ultimatum, being told convert to their version of Islam, pay the protection jizya tax, or leave. If they refused, they would be killed. The surge of attacks in 2014 displaced more than 2 million Iraqis. Thousands of them include Christians, and close to 1 million of them are now refugees in the nation's Kurdistan region. Last June, many fled to Erbil, which resulted in the garden of this Catholic church being transformed into a refugee camp. Sarah is one of the 130,000 Christians who is seeking sanctuary. Her family fled from Karakash to Ankawa in August. I came here with my family, which consists of nine people, and uh, we are here in this church, uh, Mazar Mar Ilia, and uh, we have 11 days here in this place. Some refugees are still living in church halls, while others are now living in public buildings like the unfinished Ankawa Mall. It's no longer being used for housing, but it initially helped with accommodating families. Across the region, some people are still living in tents, but many locations like Mar Elia Church has fully replaced them with caravans. During the colder winter months, the small canvas tents were replaced by sturdier blue and white tents. But the question it is, to how many summer we are going to stay here? I know the situation will take years, at least 10 years. And no one can stay in tent five days. So what about five months? What about the next summer? 